Well, welcome to this moment. Uh, this is really special, and I'm glad there's kids here to enjoy this with us. Uh, I remember quite vividly about 17 years ago, sitting in a very nice chair. It reminded me of the uh, that little scene from It's a Wonderful Life when Jimmy Stewart is at Potter's desk. And he's about this tall, and they were saying things that I was trying to understand, and they were saying them very quickly, and then they slid this sheet of paper toward me that was, I guess, only 17 inches long or so, but it seemed like it was three feet long, and there was a little place to sign it, and as a deacon at that time, we were the trustees of the church, and I remember Will and I put our signatures on that, and... Uh, thank you, God, for this moment. Amen. <laughs> uh, Chris Smith wrote up just a few details of how we got to this moment here today. And I want to read that and then a short letter from the elders. And then we're going to burn our mortgage. Due to God's provision, this is from our treasurer, Chris Smith, via many generous saints, EBC whittled our mortgage principal to $28,800 as of May 31. This was an amazing feat given that we began 2022 with a balance of more than $95,000. Mm. On June 13, we were able to write a check for $28,832.50 as a final payment to close out the mortgage loan. Amen. Amen. And uh, I had the privilege this past Monday of taking that check to a very disinterested teller. <laughs> <laughs> and I got back a receipt about the size of an average sticky note. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> June 19th, 2022, and the occasion of burning our mortgage. This is from the elders. The elders of Emmanuel Baptist Church, Will Urschel, Greg Kauser, Steve Rufter, and Van Holloway, together with this body that Christ has brought together, to hereby proclaim, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name be the glory, because of your love and faithfulness. Psalm 115.1. Today marks an important milestone in our church's 75-year history. Being out from under this debt frees us, frees so many of our emotional and material resources, enabling us now to look forward towards new and greater opportunities for God's kingdom to advance in Xenia and in places around the world. Over the past 70 years, God has spurred his people. I'm sorry, 17 years. God has spurred his people to give faithfully and generously toward the payoff of this mortgage. The addition to our facility has allowed Emmanuel Baptist Church to expand our own ministries, to be a blessing to other ministries, and to establish stronger relationships in our community. During the past 75 years, this church has been shepherded by many different men, each one imperfect, yet used by God to accomplish His purposes for this local church. By the power of God's grace, this church has stayed faithful to God's truth has seen many people come to Christ, has pushed us to be more engaged in our local community, has caused us to be more invested with one another, and has empowered us to support and send people from this congregation into all the world. As this debt has been erased, and as we set our eyes toward the future, may we understand with greater, greater clarity what it means to honor God and love people into a growing relationship with Jesus Christ, May God find each one of us faithful as we carry forward His mission in whatever role He calls us to play in the days to come. Again, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to Your name be the glory because of Your love and faithfulness. Amen. 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 Well, one of the reasons we, we built this building was we were stacked on top of each other for a lot of different programs. So, Pat Dunson, come on up here. Uh, I just want to reminisce a little bit. Back in 1990, used to have Xenia Christian Day School here and uh, did a lot of other things. I was a youth pastor at the time, and one night we had a big activity going on, and uh, and everybody remember, anybody remember Nathan Battaglia? 
Nathan mm -hmm. was a freshman that year, and I said, Nate, we need some power strips. And he went and found a bunch, and I don't know where he got them from, but uh, went to work the next morning, and uh, I was working on the stealth bomber program, and we had a big problem that morning. We'd flown it that morning, and two of the four flight control systems failed. It was the third flight of the plane. And I got called in the general's office, and we were all in there trying to figure out what's going on. And in the midst of all that, uh, this young sergeant came and says, says, Cap Mercer, this woman really needs to talk to you. <laughs> and I said, uh, well, tell her we're kind of busy, okay? And he went out and he says, well, she is really insistent. She needs to talk to you right now. It's an emergency. I said, okay. So I went out there and I said, lady, I don't have any time. She goes, Will Urschel, all the power strips are gone from all the classrooms and we can't turn on any of the overhead projectors. <laughs> what did you do with them? And I said, Pat, I'm so sorry, but I'll, I'll work it, but I can't right now. So we went that night and we looked all over and we, we who knew where Nathan put them. And uh, I bought her all the power strips. So I just want to let you know, Pat, that we did go in the bowels of the church last year and we found the power strips. And so I went to, uh, <laughs> This is the one from the science lab of Xenia Christian Day School. I wanted to make sure you got that back. <laughs> so it's good, it's good to know that we don't, we're not on top of each other anymore, and we're not having those problems. So, and, yeah, there you go, Pat. There we go. Never say I never gave you anything. All right. Okay. Well, total debt, it, debt in listen, this, total indebtedness not to exceed, but who knows what it was. Nine hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifteen dollars and zero cents. Wow, nine hundred seventeen thousand one hundred fifteen. The rest of this is all the bad things that were going to happen to Van and I if we didn't pay on it, <laughs> <laughs> which we didn't understand about. Yeah, signed by Emanuel Baptist Church, an Ohio not-for-profit corporation by William Herschel, chairman of the Board of Deacons, and Van Holloway, vice chairman of the Board of Deacons. And now we got to burn this. That's great. Yeah. And let me tell you, just like uh, Van talked, uh, Greg talked about, we stepped out of the boat, and we felt like we were sinking at some different times over the last couple of decades. But God has been faithful. And, and who would have known that we would be paying this off years in advance as well, too. So, so should we burn it? Burn it. Yeah. All right, I need a countdown, kids. You guys ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There it goes. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? That's pretty awesome. Now let's make sure no ashes land on the building and burn it down. <laughs> Where's Steve Lane? Get the squad ready for it. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna sing the doxology. And I know we've all done this for forever, but I want to give you a little bit of background about what the doxology. Thank you, thank you for watching over us. <laughs> um, 350 years ago, a young guy, my name is Thomas Ken, was an orphan. Trusted God, went through a really hard life. He said, "I'm going to, I'm going to trust in God first. And he became the chaplain to the King of England. And he called the King of England to trust God. And the king did. And the king took him and cast him aside. And everyone thought that was the end of his career. But he said, I still want to be faithful to God. And went to a small school. He wrote them hymns to sing in the morning, at the noontime, in the evening to remind them of God's faithfulness. And what we sing is the doxology, is the chorus to all three of those hymns. Mm. We don't remember the main verses of those hymns, but here we are, all of us in Christendom, 350 years later, <coughs> singing those choruses that Thomas Kent penned to keep his kids from remembering who God is. So let's sing the doxology together and remind ourselves of an amazing God who's calling us out into the waves and to walk with Him. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him all creatures here below. Praise Him above ye.
Amen. Well, let's go in and eat some of that food that those ladies have prepared for us. Grab your kids. Grab your kids. Get your kids. Don't run over the fire. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.